smoking guns coffee. It's whoo, get you going, eh? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome here. So Tim the Blacksmith, I have no idea why I'm so pumped up. And duh, duh, duh. You know what? That's it. I'm done. No, seriously, guys. Welcome here. I'm looking forward to today. As always, what am I not, right? Hey, what's going on in your world? I hope you're doing okay. Seriously, I feel very unrelational because I can't talk to you in person, except through the comment section. We're making axes. Nope, that's not true. We're making hatchets. That is true today, hopefully. This is our second batch, the 1913 Blackhawk hatchet. Now, it could be considered the Blackhawk hatchet 2.0 because we have increased the size. I'll show you more later. It's gonna be a little bit increased from the last batch, so. A little bit of tooling development, hopefully not too much. Let's just pound it out. Martin's gonna jump on the forge. I'm gonna jump on the, well, he's not gonna jump on the forge, but he's gonna help me out. I can't even talk, I'm done. Thank you for being here. Super great to have you. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Martin, what the yoinkers is going on? Dude, whoa, whoa, we got it. Guys. Oh, there you have it. Look at that. Can anybody just wear one of those or, or do you have to be you? Like if I put one of those on? <laughs> he needs approval from his wife if anybody can wear one of those shirts. So stay tuned. This is the perfect example of why I bought the shipping container and him setting it up. Look, this is power hammer. I was gonna say hello, but then. Okay, this is getting weird. Yesterday, I put it out on Instagram, YouTube, the Q&A. And I was like, kept checking Instagram and I saw like one person respond. I was like, oh, I guess nobody really wants to answer the question. You know, I just said, hey, if you got any Q&As, let me, let me get at it. Anyways, I got home and I was telling my wife, I'm like, I don't see any. She said, oh, Tim, you gotta go here, 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 here on Instagram. And then suddenly it's like, <gasps> Tons of questions that I didn't see. So I feel super bad about the people who on Instagram answer that and I never even got to them. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to, I'll put the little, can I put a link up here? I don't even know if I can put a link up here, but I'll uh, flash it on the screen. I don't know what's going on with me guys. I think I'm just tired today. I'm gonna just stop talking. Let's go make some hacks. Look how beat up that thing is. That's so crazy that it's uh, built that so well, really. So I'm hoping I've got it all set up now. I'll give you a walkthrough on the two machines here. It's not a chronological order, which is a little bit unfortunate. There's a lot of jumping around. Nevertheless, the, the reason that is, is because it's set up for the Hudson's and then the Blackhawks and we're still changing tooling. We really haven't got everything solidified yet. So anyways, we're gonna start here. Same tooling setup that I use for the Hudson Bays. We've just changed, taking this out, this in, some stuff, so that'll be the initial slitter for the eye. And then I'll come over here, clean that hole up with this thing, then put the drift in, then we go to the power hammer, then we'll come here, this is some profiling stuff in there, top and bottom. This is the trimmer, and it's the same trimmer I use for the Hudson Bays, but I change how the axe sits on it, so it'll, it's, this is set up differently. Gonna try using this for some profiling too. We'll see how that works. Oh, I'm 
just having a hard time with the uh, getting it set up right. The spacing isn't right. I don't know why that changed so much from the last batch. Anyways, I'm gonna take it out, do a little more tweaking on it. Uh, another one that I just did might be hard to see the, the eye is a little bit steered off to the one side we had that issue happening with the last batch of these axes or hatchets and I think I think where the problem is is actually not on the first litter I think it's happening here making axes is like this extremely finicky process for the tooling to be absolutely right to get it to all come together. When it's right, it's sweet. I'm gonna use the upsetter to make the first eye. We're gonna do the rest by hand and see if that's true. If that's true, then it's most likely the second operation. I'll tweak that and then hopefully we'll be able to run. That didn't work to do it by hand at all. That was turning into a bigger mess than we wanted. So the drifts aren't set up for that. I'm gonna go back to the app center and see if I can find exactly where this problem is. So I've been looking at things here and the bottom plate here is slightly bowed and this thing has been rocking like this. See how much of a gap there is? So it's very random where it all ends up. And I think that's why we're getting that sort of that twist factor in it. So I'm gonna cut this off, clamp this down, rewild that, try to get that figured out, and then we'll see how it goes. That definitely did not fix it. That was the worst one yet. So I gotta work on that a lot. I'm not sure what's going on. So, what do we have going on? What a day, guys. This has really gone sideways on us here. I thought this was gonna be easy peasy, small little tweaks running. And um, we're gonna actually rebuild that whole entire second operation, that drifting with the uh, stripper plate and everything like that. So this is gonna take a little bit of work, but it's gonna be definitely worth it because it'll save us a lot of time. Unfortunately, I gotta end the video here because I'm out of time. So I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow Thank you so much for watching. Super appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep the forge lit, hey? Bye for now.